The objective of this video is to show you how to create a simple report in the EPM add-in. There are three methods in BPC for report creation. We can use member recognition, the report editor, or the EPM pane. We will cover each one individually. The first method is member recognition. This allows us to write directly into the spreadsheet and it will automatically create a report bringing back data. First thing we need to do is to check that the option which allows member recognition has been turned on. Click on Options and then you will see the Member Recognition option. If this option is not enabled, then this method will not work. I can start by writing either a member ID or description into a cell. I always start with what I want in my rows. Europe. As you can see, it flashed green for a split second. If you now click on the cell, you can see that it is populated with the EPM OLAP member formula, which means it has been recognized. I can type in a member I would like to see in my columns, 2015.total. I have the same response and it has brought back the data. I created a simple EPM report. The data is related to the dimensions which I have in the report, but also to the dimensions in the context. So the account, audit trail, category, customer, Interco, product, RPT currency, and measures are all being picked up from the context. If I change category to budget in the EPM context and refresh the report, you can see that the data has changed. If I type a member above the report, it will assume it is the page access. Let's type actual. What I have done is remove the connection to the context. The member is now hard-coded and you can see that it is a different member to my context. I do not have to have only one row and one column in this method. I can add more members like Africa. If you type a member it does not recognize, it will not populate it with the EPM OLAP member and therefore it won't be part of the report. Let's try Dubai and you will see it is not recognized. If the system thinks there is more than one option, it will give you a list to choose from. Type A. You can now see it has come up with different options and I can select the member I need in my report. Scroll down and select Algeria. Once you have created your report, you can also expand it by double-clicking on the parent members and it will drill down the hierarchy. You can continue until you get to the base level where you will get a message explaining that you are at the bottom of the hierarchy. You can also use the expand button in the EPM ribbon. You also have the ability to drill up the hierarchy by double-clicking or using the collapse button. The second method is using the New Report button. Once you have clicked on the New Report button, a wizard will open to help you create your report. Each tab has additional functionality to enhance your report. We have sorting, filtering and ranking which will allow you to sort, filter or rank your data based on a certain criteria. We can set a data intersection to be read only on an input schedule. Local members allow us to add dynamic calculations to our reports. Member names give us the ability to change a member's description from what is stored in the database. Excluded members are used for members that should not appear on your report and member insertion filtering allows a filter list to be used when inserting members. To create a report we need to be on the layout tab. In the same way as before 
we need to have a column axis, a row axis, and an optional page axis. To create the report, drag and drop the dimensions you would like to see in your report. Let's drop product into the rows and time into the columns. Click OK and you see that a report has been created. If you want to make changes to the report, we can click on the Edit Report button. This button is greyed out until a report is created. The Edit Report button opens the wizard. Using the Report Editor, we can make changes such as naming our report. We can update the report name from Default Report. We are able to move dimensions into the page axis if they are required. Let's drop Category onto the page axis. We also have the ability to shift where the report starts. It doesn't always have to start in A1. We also have the ability to shift either the row or column. If we shift the row, it will insert a blank line for the number of shifts. This will make the report look better. Let's shift the column by 2. Click OK. The report has now been updated with the changes that we have made. We can use Excel formatting to format the report. The third method of creating a report is using the EPN pane. As you can see, the EPN pane shows what model you are currently in and lists the dimensions in the model. All you need to do is drag and drop the dimensions into either the page, column, or row axis. Drag entity into rows. At this point, nothing happens, as a report needs to have dimensions in both the rows and columns. Put time into the columns. This has now created the report. You can also right click on the dimension name and select where you would like to move it. Please put category and currency into the page axis. This can be done by dragging or dropping, or you can use the Edit Report button. Once you have started on a method, it doesn't mean that the other methods are not available to you. If we go back and look at the report created by Member Recognition, you can see the dimension appear in the EPM pane and you can also select the Edit Report button. If you double-click on the dimension in the EPM pane, you can open the Member Selector, which allows you to change members reflected in your report. Click on Entity and select Europe. Then from the Member Expansion box, choose Base Level. If we move the selection into the right-hand side box and click OK, you will see that the members in our report have changed. We will look at these member expansion options in the next video. The Swap button gives us the ability to swap what is in the rows with what is in the columns. We now have the entity in the columns and time in the rows. You can now switch them back again. To enhance our reporting, we can nest dimensions, which means that we can have more than one dimension in both the rows and columns. Let's move category from the page axis to the rows. This is to show how flexible the reporting can be in modifying your reports. These three methods show how we can create a simple report in BPC. You should now be able to practice and create simple reports using your own BPC environment. In the next video, we will look at enhancing the content of our report by using advanced features such as sorting, filtering and ranking.